Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited that you're here with me today because I have been on a journey for the past 30 days and I wanted to report to you on how it has been going. And for those of you who watch my channel, you may have heard in a couple of my videos me mention that I started on the carnivore or zero carb diet about almost exactly a month ago. It has been 30 days and I'm here to report to you about that. And before I share that with you, I did want to share my outfit that I'm wearing today. And I absolutely love this. It is a white sweater, kind of a spring weight sweater, and it has wooden buttons on the arms. And I really, really like that. I also have some new jewelry, which is not Amazon. It is a little more expensive than that, but I did want to share that with you too. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'd like to subscribe to my channel and will subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, let's get into this and let me just settle back and be really honest with you here. Here is what happened. About a month and a half ago, I realized, well, I realized that I had not been using my scale daily. I have this thing where I weigh every single day and I have a weight window that I like to be in of 118 to 120. And then those days that I creep up to 121, 122, I immediately just be good that day. And by the next morning, I'm back in my weight window. And I've done that for years because I've found that in my past, when I didn't weigh at all, every now and then I would get on the scale and be horrified that I gained 10 pounds, which is quite hard to lose, to be honest with you. Well, what happened is that maybe two weeks before Thanksgiving, I thought my scale needed a new battery. And so I kept asking Alan when I think of it, honey, can you change that battery? Don't know why I couldn't do it myself. There is in the background, yay, Allie, he's taking down the Christmas decor now, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> okay, he was actually getting a Band-Aid because he said he didn't want to bleed all over our Christmas decor, which is really nice. Thank you, Allie, always thinking of us. Okay, what happened is when, you know, I thought that the scale needed a battery and then I just didn't get around to it. I kept forgetting to ask Allie and then it got to be Thanksgiving and then it got to be about a week after Thanksgiving and we realized at that point that it didn't just need a new battery, it was kaput and it is a great scale and I'll link it below even though it did go kaput. But anyway, we ordered a new scale and by that time it was a few days after Thanksgiving and I weighed myself and I couldn't believe it. I was like 124 and a half pounds, almost 125. And that is way out of my weight window of 118 to 120. So I was kind of horrified about that. And at about the same time, my IBS had gotten horrible. You know, if you suffer from IBS, it goes okay for a while. And then you'll have several days of just awful or even several weeks of just awful. Well, I was coming off of several weeks of just awful in terms of the IBS. And you have to have IBS to know just how horrible that is. And I won't go into all the gory details, but it wasn't good. And maybe a week before that, I had seen a video by Lisa, Lisa D1, and it was wonderful. And apparently she has been on the carnivore diet for the past two years and her IBS is gone and she's so happy. And I had that in the back of my mind and I thought, I am going to do the carnivore diet at some point. And just before I found the scale, I made a video actually in this kitchen. And I will show you just a piece of that video right here. And I probably will never even air that video because I looked so puffy and so terrible, absolutely terrible. And I, I felt as bad as I looked, I have to admit. So anyway, fast forward, you know, a few weeks. And when I saw that high weight on the scale, remembered how puffy I was looking in that video and how jowly, because if we gain a little bit of weight, it seems to all go to our jowls. It's not pretty, but as you're 60 plus, I'll be 65 Medicare eligible in April. But anyway, I realized that I wanted to start the carnivore diet and typical to me, I didn't do hardly any research about it. However, I have been reading about it on and off and watching YouTube videos for about a year. Dr. Ken Berry loves the carnivore diet. He is a carnivore and totally swears by the health aspects of it. So anyway, I just decided I would do it. And so the very next day I was at McDonald's in the drive through line and I got like patties of beef, which who knew you could do that? But it's like five plain patties of beef, the small hamburgers for like $4.75 in my area anyway. And I put mustard on that. And so anyway, I started out the carnivore diet and within just a few days, I had lost a few pounds. And now fast forward an additional three weeks later at about the 30 day point, 
I am weighing totally in my weight window between like 118.5 up to 120, somewhere in there. And that's exactly where I want to be. And I will tell you, I'm very happy that my face is more slender again. I don't look like I'm about to expand like the Pillsbury Doughboy, which is what I was looking like. I've got these huge cheeks, and that's the first thing to get even huger when I gain weight. But it wasn't even so much the weight that I did this for and that I am so excited about. It was the IBS problem. And in the 30 days, let me tell you a little bit about my journey in terms of the IBS. And basically, it seemed like everything got better for the first day or two in terms of the IBS. And then the third day, it got bad again. And I thought, oh no, maybe my IBS problem is not going to be solved. And I realized that that day I had had some Diet Coke. And Lisa, Lisa D1 swears by having Diet Coke as a, as a snack and a treat. And unfortunately, I have never really been able to do that in terms of my IBS. It tends to give me diarrhea is, is what it boils down to. It gives me diarrhea. And so that happened that day. And I always suffer from this idea that, oh, I'm depriving myself. Everybody else gets to eat desserts. Everybody else gets sweets. Everybody else gets bread. And all I have is meat. And, and I should have told you this to begin with, for those of you who aren't familiar with the carnivore diet, no plants at all, no plants. Just eat anything with a face. You know, a fish with a face, a shrimp, I guess they have a face, uh, beef, a lot of beef, chicken, although that's not very high fat. Basically, carnivore is a meat-based diet plus the addition of fat. And some carnivores even add butter like to their steaks. And I do that occasionally and it just tastes wonderful. But in my mind, that was like deprivation and I should be able to have something sweet. So I started to drink Crystal Light peach tea and also a Diet Coke a day at McDonald's. And I did that for about another week and realized I could not handle the Diet Cokes because of digestive problems, the diarrhea issue. So I stopped that, but I kept doing the Crystal Light peach tea until two days ago because I thought that doesn't seem to affect me and poor, poor pitiful me, I don't get anything sweet and so I need that. Well, then I was watching another good carnivore on YouTube and she is wonderful. Her name is Megan, I'm not sure of her last name, but anyway, I will link her below and she's incredible. She's been carnivore for 13 years and she was like over 200 pounds when she started. She lost all this weight. She looks wonderful. She has beautiful hair after 13 years as a carnivore. Her skin is lovely. She's happy. And anyway, she said that she had done what she thought was the carnivore zero carb diet for about four years, but she wasn't getting that feeling of freedom from overeating. You would have to know what it's like to be kind of a food addicted person. And I wouldn't even say kind of. I have made no bones on my channel that if something is good to me, I can really overdo it. I am subject to kind of addictive behaviors. I just have that biochemistry. And since I've entered the carnivore world, they say it's something like there are abstainers and there are moderators. And you moderators out there, you say things to me like, which drive me crazy, by the way, well, why don't you just have one Oreo or two when you open the bag? Don't eat the whole thing. <laughs> and a moderator can do that. And bless your heart if you're a moderator, because that is that must be heaven to be able to have two cookies and stop. But I am what they call an abstainer. And that is if I have something that I'm doing that is bad for me, I can't just moderate it. Just like when I quit drinking 23 years ago, yay, best thing I ever did. I couldn't just cut down to a half a glass or a glass of wine a day. I had to totally abstain. So I've not had a drink in 23 years, one day at a time and praise the Lord. And I have a video about that down below this video, I guess. But anyway, back to Megan, she said she never had that feeling of freedom from food that you get if you stop the sweet things and the carbs. And she talked to another carnivore about it, a very experienced one. And he said, you know, what are you doing? And she said, well, I'm still drinking Diet Dr. Pepper as my snack. And he said, oh, that's not carnivore, that you have to get rid of all those sweet things. And that if you do it for three days, you will no longer crave them. And you will have that beautiful feeling of peace around food where you can eat what you want and not be afraid of overindulgence and not really have to limit yourself. You'll just naturally feel satisfied. And that freedom is a tremendously wonderful thing. And I have had two days now with no sweeteners of any types. And I've just been straight carnivore. 
And I feel good so far. And I have to admit, in my mind, I'm thinking, ooh, a Diet Coke sounds good. And I used to be very addicted to Diet Dr. Peppers, but I noticed I tried one of those early in the carnivore thing. After not drinking Diet Dr. Peppers for like a year, I thought I needed a treat, but it is prune juice and it really did not do my digestive system any favors, if you know what I mean. So anyway, now I'm on day three of getting rid of all of those artificial sweeteners and I feel really good. And this is my one month results video. And I'll tell you the good things that I've realized. The first is that I've lost those few four or five pounds and I don't look as puffy anymore. And I'm so happy about that. The second is that my IBS, except for those first few days and every now and then when I would cheat on a Diet Coke or something like that, my IBS has been amazingly like not there, like not there. And that is so wonderful, I can't even tell you. That alone would be worth sticking with this for me. And my sleep seems to be getting much, 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 much better. I was taking these doctor prescribed kind of sleeping pills and realized I was getting memory issues. So I had had to stop those. And so I was doing my old thing of getting to sleep, but waking up at 1.30, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning and not being able to go back to sleep. But somehow since the carnivore, it's not perfect every night, but it is markedly better. And I'm not on any sleeping pills, no melatonin. Well, once in a while, I will take a melatonin if I remember but mostly I just have much better sleep. But the main benefit I am still waiting on that hasn't happened for me yet, I have to be honest, is that I don't feel particularly any happier. It's not like I'm miserable and it's not like I'm depressed, but I just tend to have this biochemistry that kind of says, oh, is that all there is? Is that all there is? And I don't want that anymore. I don't want to live like that in my second half, I will say. This might be my last third, but anyway, let's say second half. I don't want that anymore. And they do say that mental health benefits are a huge benefit of the carnivore zero carb lifestyle. And so I plan to do this another 60 days. Hopefully I'll do it forever, quite honestly, because I, I just feel really good on this, but I'm trying to go into it with moderation and just try 30 days. And then I'm going to try another 60 days because the carnivore people all say, and there's a mental health professional who really believes in the carnivore lifestyle and she said it's really 90 days of being on the carnivore diet before you really start to experience those calming mental health benefits, those mood lifts and that kind of thing. So anyway, that is where I am right now. And if you are following the carnivore lifestyle, then please let me know in the comment section. And also if you've had good results, bad results, please let us know. Because to me, this is kind of a, a new thing. I was keto for a long time, but that allowed me too much freedom in terms of carbs. And so I think I was always craving carbs on the keto. And so I would have the occasional desserts and it just got really sloppy. And quite honestly, I just didn't have the biochemistry that could deal with any carbs. And so I'm feeling much better now. Now, at the end of each video, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And this one has to do with maybe feeling a little bit depressed, something along those lines, and just a good reminder of maybe how to handle that. And that is to reach out to a friend. And Alan and I have a lovely friend couple who live in Oklahoma and they are Terry and John and they are just incredible. And if you're feeling down, it's important to remember that you're not alone, that you can text someone, you can call someone, mostly it's text anymore. But if you tend to be a little depressed and feel a little lonely at times, then remember those people that you do have to text and to reach out to because really it makes them feel just as good to get your text as it does for you to send the text and reach out to someone else. And basically I just wanted to share a little trip that we made together and here it is. And it was over Christmas, just before Christmas. And we went to Pahuska, Oklahoma to the Pioneer Woman restaurant called the Mercantile, I think. Fantastic food there, absolutely fantastic. The prices are reasonable. Sandwiches are like 12 to $16. A lot of food, you get a lot of food. Iced teas are only 25 cents, which is amazing. But here we are together. We had such a good time. And friendship is such a beautiful elixir to the downs that you have in life. I absolutely love Terry and John and I appreciate them so much being a member of my life. And John and Terry also watch my videos, which is an amazing bless because no one in my family watches my videos, which I am totally fine with. I don't have a problem and you guys don't have to keep watching them, but it really does warm my heart that you do. That's amazing. 
Thank you so much. So friends, just for today, as we're going through our day, if we feel a little bit down or a little bit lonely, let's remember our friends and that we can reach out to them to fill our hearts and theirs as well. Take care, and I hope you have a great 2023.